There's a pretty one, Ulysses. There it is. Hello, Booktube. I'm Sean the Book Maniac. Welcome back to my channel. Here I am with Friday Reads. Don't have a lot to say today. I've had a pretty good reading week with all the considering all the busyness of the Christmas week, but uh, haven't started too much new stuff. The only new book... Oh, two. I can't remember if I had... Yeah, I had just... Maybe I had just started To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf when I did my Friday Reads last week, and I'm about 20 minutes away from finishing, and I thought I would have it finished before I did Friday Reads, but I... Uh, was able to fall back to sleep. I've been waking up at 3 a.m. every morning and basically staying awake most days. Kenji, it's the same. The jet lag is worse than usual this time, and I think it's because of the cold weather. I have no idea, but this morning I woke up at 3, but I did go back to sleep at around 5 for about an hour and a half. This is not interesting, but anyway... <laughs> So I haven't quite finished. I'm so close to finishing To the Lighthouse, but I'll finish it up today or tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we fly, Kenji and I fly back to Tokyo. And so I want to get, I wanted to get To the Lighthouse done because I'm not able to easily, I can't do the audio on the airplane and I can't easily do the ebook through Scribd. Sometimes they load up. Uh, if you're not hooked into Wi-Fi, and sometimes they don't, so I wanted to finish it for that reason. What a profound book. I think it's my favorite Virginia Woolf. I'll have more to say about it later. I'm a little bit groggy. I'm only a few sips into my first cup of coffee, but uh, it was now or never to get this Friday Reads video a shot, so uh, at the expense of a little bit of, quite a bit of grogginess and my house coat. <laughs> Anyway, To the Lighthouse is just amazing. I think she... I think she does the stream of consciousness through the various characters even more wonderfully than in Mrs. Dalloway. Yeah, I... Uh, blown away by it, you know. And I can tell that I'm blown away by it because I can't think of one thing to say about it. It's just, yeah, maybe, probably, maybe her best or my favorite by her. Um, and I'm really enjoying doing the buddy read with Jess from Garden Scriptorium and Fariba from The Medieval Reader. So, it's, and we will continue uh, the buddy read uh, into the next week, I think. But I will be finished the book today. Okay, so there's that. And then I bailed on a couple books last week. I'm, I think I've only got three bales this month and I don't think there'll be any more so this month's December wrap-up will be only one video starting with three bales but so uh, I had, then I had room to start this one. You might remember this one from I think it was my first page 112 tag. This is the Norwegian novel about the two sisters living alone in the countryside until a man shows up at the door and it is dark and quite wonderful. I'm 50 pages in. Definitely going to polish this off on the plane. The writing, the translation is really good. At first I wasn't sure, and maybe I'm still not completely sure if it's too too dark for me. What do I mean by that? I like dark stuff, but it felt like I wondered how, if it was going to be a little bit warped in a kind of a gothic way. But I no, I don't think so. The characters are weird and wonderful. The scene I just read yesterday was the uh, the disabled sister, and these are women that are in their 40s or 50s, I think, and she had, I think she maybe had uh, polio as a child, it wasn't exactly made clear, but something like that, and so she's somewhat disabled, and her sister gets this boyfriend, the guy who moves into the farm next door, and... Uh, and they do not treat this other sister very well. Anyway, she's alone in the house, and she goes in and finds her sister's new sexy lingerie uh, when nobody's home, and puts it on, and on her crutches, she wanders around 
the farmhouse and out into the farmyard showing off, flaunting herself. What a beautiful, weird passage that was. Just striking. If I uh, had my re regular software, I'd read it in and, and do the thing, but I, I don't, so I'll probably do that during the review or the wrap-up. But uh, yeah, quite, quite enjoying this so far. It's a nice antidote to all the Christmas bullshit. I mean, there is something beyond bullshit about Christmas, I guess, but <laughs> this, this this really dark story kind of cuts away at all the, the, the yucky sentimentality, so it's a nice Christmas read for me. Um, so that's all in terms of reading. So uh, uh, this afternoon we're going to film the Q&A video. Uh, quite looking forward to it. We thought we might do it this morning. But uh, I've got kind of a headache, and uh, we thought we'd do it over a, a glass or two of wine just before dinner today. So that won't get edited or put up, put, uh, posted until probably a couple days later. That'll be like a New Year's Day or a video or something. But uh, looking forward to it. Thanks for all your questions. So I guess there's a couple more hours to get questions, but we've probably got enough, and we may not get to all of them, but we'll get to most of them, and any and the, any of them that we don't get to, we'll, uh, I'll answer in the comments. I have bought way too many books, but luckily Kenji's suitcase is half empty, and he can bring some back to me to avoid, you know, to get deal with the weight restrictions. Um, but I'll, that'll be, I'll do another uh, book haul video couple days and uh, what else was I gonna say oh yeah so yeah, reading wise you know I'm sleeping in the room with Kenji and so I I do audiobook with in the middle of the night I do the audiobook with the headphones and the ebook but I don't want to turn the light on to read a paper book so that's why I haven't made as much progress on this one and during the day, I'm just a zombie. So I just can't read during the day. I get all my reading done when I wake up in the middle of the night. And most of it's on audio or ebook. So I'm still really enjoying the Atrib collection of stories. I hope to finish that up on the plane. And uh, the uh, Italian novel is really interesting. And again, I don't know if I can read it on the plane, so I'm going to try to get more of it in if I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning tomorrow and uh, and I, uh, I didn't know if I was going to talk about this but I think it's it's a use, an interesting topic for booktubers is you know Ma, I'm not going to set a Goodreads target next year but I did set one this year and it was 150 books and if I finish everything I'm reading now I will be at 130. Oh, sorry. I will be at 147 books that I've read. That doesn't include bales. That's just books I've read. I don't like to talk about this because I don't want to encourage uh, the uh, trend among us bookworms that quantity has much value. I don't think it does, but it's also human nature. So I'm so close to. 150 that if I can po polish off three more books, ebooks, I've got some stuff on Kindle and uh, some small little novellas that I bought th this week or whatnot, that, uh, that I could actually hit 150. But I mean, who cares? But I do care because <laughs> I'm so close. And even though I think goals are silly. So that's. Uh... Damn! Virginia Woolf writes about mental confusion much more eloquently than I just. My little monologue just now, <laughs> I just sound like a nitwit. But do you know what I mean? Like I, I read 138 books last year, and so I set a target to 150. And I'm so close. But it doesn't matter. If I read 149 books, that would I've had a really good reading year. Oh, the last thing I'll just say is uh, I, I am completely unmotivated to do the best of and the worst of 2017 videos. I'm just not interested. I don't know why. I guess it just feels really arbitrary to me, but I mean a monthly wrap-up, a month, the monthly period is a 
is if if a yearly period video is arbitrary so is a monthly but I'm just not interested at all I'm enjoying watching them all no I don't watch them all so I, I must admit that you know I watch my favorite booktubers best of and worst of videos but beyond that I just tend to look at the the show notes to see what the titles are but I'm just not interested in doing it myself and I'm not sure why like yeah I'm not really one to look back over the previous year that way I guess on let's see I made a list of my top five reads the last two years previously but anyway so no I'm probably not going to do that I mean I my intro video on booktube was the best books I'd read for the first half of the year but I just yeah I don't really like regurgitating so a few of my reviews or my wrap-ups have said this is one of my top reads of the year and that's kind of all I have to say about it so I don't know maybe the things will change and maybe once I've had a full year on booktube like 2018 I'll really want to do that but yeah just don't 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 feel like it I'd much rather do a few book reviews of some books that I've just finished and I keep doing Friday reads and page 112s and but uh, the yearly wrap ups yeah I'll pass this year anyway and the last thing was what hmm the last thing which I should have tacked on to talking about how I can read and when I can't read while I'm at home because of Kenji sleeping and upstairs and everybody sleeping or whatever is I haven't been able to watch booktube videos almost none because I'm prioritizing whatever free time I have for audio it's to, to do Virginia Woolf to the lighthouse or to read my own novels or do my own videos so I haven't seen like what's Steve Donahue going on about I just saw the I'm like what he might be going away what 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 <laughs> I'm out of the loop, so I will catch up on all of your videos. Uh, get back on New Year's Eve. We, lo we lose a day going back. And uh, I don't go back to work until the following Tuesday, really. So I have a good seven or eight day holiday in Japan. And I do have some practical things that I have to do, some lesson planning and income tax stuff. But I still will have lots of time to make videos and read in the first. It's so nice getting back to Japan and not having to go right back to work the next day because I for years I always did that and the jet lag is just a killer so anyway so there's my rather disjointed uh, Friday reads at the last one of 2017 I think the next video you'll see of from me will be the Q&A video in a couple days so thanks for watching